I'm Kelly. And I'm Leslie. And we're the Dollar Saving Divas. We know how hard it is to provide your family with everything they need while still being able to treat yourself. Everyone wants to be able to afford the most fashionable accessories, the newest styles, and those special evenings out without breaking the bank. That's for sure. Over the years, we've found some tips and tricks to make this luxury lifestyle affordable, and we want to share those secrets with you. In each of our podcasts, we'll be sharing our suggestions for luxury living for less. Everything from how to spot the secondhand deals to tips for maximizing your rewards points. We want to help you save money. Thanks for joining us. Now let's start saving. Kelly, I don't know about you, but I like eating out. (laughs) I do too, because I don't like to cook. (laughs) Me either. But, you know, when you're trying to stick to a healthy diet, it's really hard when you're eating out. Did you know that government surveys find that the food you eat when you're not home is nutritionally worse in every way than the food that you eat at home? Wow. (laughs) I know, right? So a lot of restaurants have added some healthier options to their menus, but sometimes it's just a matter of uh, knowing a few little tips and making a few substitutions to get a healthy meal. Absolutely. And you know what? Even if something says... It's fried. We'll ask for it to be grilled. I mean, right. You know, and I know you've got a little trick that you do when I, we go out. I do it all the time. Uh, bang Bang Shrimp, when I go to Bonefish Grill, I just, that comes with all the fried stuff on it. I just ask them, can you saute the shrimp and then just bring the um, sauce on the side? Right. And Saves it's half the calories. Still delicious. It was absolutely delicious. I mean, and instead of French fries, ask for an extra side of vegetables. Right. I mean, things like that. Ask for baked potato instead of, you know, French fries. Yeah. Um, So it's smart things like that. But I couldn't live without my sour cream on my baked potato. So I think I'd probably give up. Well, you give up something else to to have that sour cream. And, you know, a lot of times they, if you look at the menu, it'll say low carb. But be careful of those low carb options because they're actually not low calorie. So make sure you're reading the nutritional information on the menu. And one of the things, you know, we all hear about the serving sizes are so huge. So one little trick is ask to have your entree boxed before it ever, ask them to box half of it before it ever gets to your table. So you take half home and you only have half on the plate. That's a really smart idea. Or Resist the temptation. Or, you know, like you and I, I know we've done this before, we've actually shared an entree before. Yeah, absolutely. Or get a couple of appetizers instead exactly. of ordering a big entree. Exactly. Or what I do with my husband um, sometimes is I'll just have him order the the full meal. I'll eat a little bit of his salad and I'll, you know, eat his, maybe like part of his mashed potatoes because I can't live without my potatoes. But then I'll just have like a skewer of grilled shrimp. So for me, his plate. So and my I husband eat, won't let me eat off Does he plate. like smack your little yeah, hand? Yeah, he actually does, right? He does? I, I, yeah. Well, my husband has been trained well. We've been married 26 years, so. He, oh, that's where, <laughs> all right, I need to get back to the training. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, and salads, that's one big thing. Um, a lot of people think, oh, salads are really low in calories. Well, it's not necessarily true if they're putting like a bunch of cheese and croutons and, you know, um, some of those salad dressings are really high in calories. Right. So that's why I like to do like like a balsamic vinaigrette or an olive and an oil, something like that, because those are the kinds of things or just dressing on the side and you, you take your little fork and you dab your lettuce in that or whatever. Exactly. But um, And then instead of maybe asking for those big, huge salads, just ask for a side salad. And ask them to put maybe like a chicken breast on it or grilled shrimp on that or salmon because that way it's very, very low in in calories instead of getting something like a pasta salad or coleslaw because that's all um, mayonnaise-based usually. And that's that's pretty high in in calories as well. Yeah, and a side salad with a little grilled chicken, you got a full meal and it's a little less expensive too. Yeah, it's probably, I think on some of the menus, it's like 300 calories. Well, how? Get a whole entree meal for 300 calories. I like it, too. Um, when I go um, to a restaurant, I like to look what I'm going to order. I go online and look at their... Do you do, I do that? I the same thing. I know. Because once you get there and then you, you, you're you trying to get through the menu and everybody is ordering and you just end up looking at the... You know, grabbing the first thing that looks good. But if you go online and you kind of plan out what you're going to eat, then you're more likely to stick to it. Pick the healthy option before you get there. Exactly. And everything... Now, I mean, you can get the nutritional um, information on on everything. So I actually, I know this probably sounds very anal, but um, I actually will look up the calories and pick exactly what I want and add up the calories. So it's like, okay, do I want to have potatoes? 
yeah, okay, well, that's 250 calories, <clears throat> excuse me, then I'll go ahead and say, okay, well, then I'm just going to have a side salad right. with, with that. Or soup, like a light soup. Like you can go to Panera and you can get their low-fat chicken noodle soup, and you can get a small salad with dressing on the side, and it's like 390 calories. I mean, a lot of restaurants do that. Yeah. So I think that's that's always a smart thing to do. And, you know, one thing we don't think about, you look at the calories, you order your entree, you look at the calories on the menu, but then the waiter brings out the bread basket. Oh, yes. Yeah. The dreaded bread the, basket. <laughs> exactly. And, you know, your diet is out the window at that point because you're eating the bread. You haven't figured that into your calorie count. It's like it's free calories. Well, it's not. No. So, it's just free bread. Exactly. Right. So it's just best if you ask the waiter, don't bring out the bread basket. Skip the bread. And if you're hungry, just ask for maybe some veggies and dip, veggies and hummus. Exactly. Exactly. Or, or just say, I'm going to have one piece of bread. And if it's, you know, going to some of those Italian restaurants, um, ask for the dipping sauce instead of butter. Right. Because that's going to be low in calories, too. But you know what? You got to throw all of that out the window at, at least once a week. I've got some friends, and they call it their cheat day. And they cheat every Saturday. I mean, during the week, they are, you know, they work out every day and this. But Felice and Beth, they cheat. Got to have you. Got to reward yourself. And they eat whatever they want. Can't be all working, no play. And exactly. I mean, they they like it, and it's kind of fun because that way, you know, you do get to have your sweet, or you do get to have your butter and your bread, and you do have your big old potato. Um, so you know, think about that. Yes, during the rest of the, of the week, the six days, you know, watch what you're doing, but have a cheat day and reward yourself a little bit. Exactly. You know, and here I don't know if you do this, Kelly, but here's a tip I read. And it seems a little bit counterintuitive, but before you go out, have a snack. Because if you are famished, if you, you know, how we've talked about before, don't eat all day because I'm saving up for the big right, meal at the right. end. Well, then what happens is you go in, you're famished, and you order everything on the menu, and you're not making good choices. So actually have a little healthy snack before you go out. Um, take the edge off your hunger. So have an apple or, you know, some veggies or something like that. Well, shouldn't you also, um, I've been told, too, to drink a, like a glass of water because it kind of Right. Fills you up a little well, bit. Well, and that's another good point. Skip the soda uh, when you're eating out and just drink a lot of water because the water does fill you up. So well, drink water and skip the sugary drinks. Well, and what you could do is, I, I've done this before, is a glass of ice water and ask for several lemons and then um, squeeze it into your water and it's add refreshing. a little, yeah, and add a, well, and if you like it sweet, add a little bit of sweet and low and all of a sudden you've got lemonade. Right. Yeah. No sugary sodas. Oh, what about dessert, though? Well, on cheat day? Yeah, on any day. It's hard to skip the dessert. But you know what? You could split. Like, we've done that before. Absolutely. You get, get one dessert, absolutely. four forks. That's exactly what you do. Or or something like a sorbet, which is going to be a lot less in, in, in calories, you know. Right. You know, you don't have to get the tiramisu every time you go to the Italian restaurant. Get, yeah, the, get, a, get, get a, a nice sorbet. sorbet. Or... Again, back to the, if you order a cake, have the waiter box up half of it before he even brings it to the table. And then you take part of it home and have a little bit at the table. Well, and what I, you know, when it's your, you usually go out to eat when it's like, you know, you're celebrating something, your birthday or your anniversary, right? Yep. So, and what do you always get? You get a free dessert. So I always get the thing that you can take home. Because yeah. who wants to turn down an $8 dessert? Well, heavens no. You never turn down the free dessert. But yeah, take it home. Mm, okay. So you can't eat out and be healthy. I know. What day is our cheat day? Um, every, <laughs> every, every day, day is cheat day. day. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll just cheat once once a day. <laughs> just once a day. Every once day. a day. Okay, well, where are we going to go and cheat today? I don't know. Um, someplace with a good dessert. Thanks for saving money with us. If you have money-saving tips you want to share, we would love to hear from you. We'll talk about them in a future podcast. Just head to our Facebook page at facebook.com slash dollarsavingdivascbus. Leslie, that's kind of long. We do have a link to our page in the podcast notes. When you subscribe to this podcast on iTunes or your favorite podcast player, these podcasts can automatically upload to your smartphone. Now get out there and start saving money. We want to hear from you.